Hello everybody out there in the music and uh, vinyl community. This is Mike for Sorter 777 coming at you again with another video. Uh, this is the third video I showed uh, this morning. We're in the wee hours of Saturday morning. And uh, so I figure I'll show you a video of a haul I have from Girder Music. Greg Hayes of Girder Music. And I, and I suggest you guys to check out his website, Girder Music. They got a lot of great stuff there. They have mostly Christian stuff and, and a few non-Christian music selections as well. Um, so I had a recent haul, came in the mail, uh, there this past Wednesday, and of a, bit of a few uh, CDs I got. The first one I'm going to show you is the band Angelica. And um, the band Angelica is, uh, the, for, is the creation of the guitar player Dennis Cameron, and who is also is a Canadian, uh, he's from Ontario, I'm from the East Coast, Newfoundland. And um, what a sort of, sort of bit of back history of this band. Dennis Cameron was in a band called Masquerade, and he came to know the Lord back in 1987. And his guitar playing is, is known uh, is known for his guitar playing. He's a, he's a phenomenal guitar player, and he's known. And he's if you if you're fans of these bands, one second now. Um, if you're fans of Steve Vai, Eddie Van Halen, Eric Johnson, and Joe Satriani, uh, you'll like this guy's guitar playing. So basically, what happened? Sort of big a bit of backstory. Once he became no came no Lord back in 1987, um, he formed a band Angelica, and uh, with a friend called Andy Loin. Now, this is the demo demos that he put out. Uh, the, this is a brand new CD, and they uh, they had two sets of demos, uh, two on two different cassette tapes. Uh, first one had five songs, which is a which is the first five songs of the CD, and the other one is four songs, which is the last four songs of the CD. So the first five songs is "Shine on Me," "When Will I Ever Learn," "Take Me," "Only a Man," "SOS," slash "Amazing Grace." Uh, the second uh, demo cassette is "One Step," "I Believe," "Satisfied," and "Danger Zone." So basically, um, um, this first demo was shopped to different labels to get a record contract, and the and the last four. Um, songs was what the when intense as you may know back then there's a tent there's a Chris two Christian labels frontline records intense records they emerged uh, well frontline records uh, purchased intense records and uh, when when Dennis Cameron signed a deal with intense records they wanted him to have put another demo uh, another set of demos uh, which is the last four songs I mentioned uh, to sign a deal uh, so he signed a five record deal with Intense Records and uh, so he put a four studio albums and a, and a greatest hit album back in 1993. And these are a demo session deal with Andy Loin. So moving on into their first official uh, solo, uh, first official Angelica album. Here's Angelica, Angelica's uh, original album came out in 1989. Now, a little backstory in this. This album features uh, the great raw rock on vocals. As you may know, raw rock is sang for and Pell Terry, uh, Mars Project Driver, Joshua, his own band Driver, and has a solo solo album, solo career as well. What happened on this one is that this music was produced by Dennis Cameron, and the vocals was produced by Ken Temple. You all know Ken Temple from uh, his own solo stuff, the band Shout and Magdalene. Well, Ken Templin put Andy Loin, so it's a horrendous ordeal. And by the way, this demo album that I showed you shows, um, shows Andy Loin doing the lead vocals. Uh, not, and none of these songs appear on this album, Angelica, which contains 12 songs. So none of these albums here was on the original Demo Sessions album here. So Ken Temple put, put any Lawrence through such an ordeal uh, with, uh, with Lee's vocals that Dennis Cameron, uh, Ken Temple suggested Dennis Cameron, uh, two singers, Bob Carlow of the band Allies. As we know, Bob Carlow put out the, the big hit back mid 90s called Butterfly Kisses or, or Rob Rock. Um, so Dennis Cameron with the Rob Rock because of what he's known for with, like I said before, Impel Terry, Joshua, Driver, that kind of thing, Mars Project Driver. So Ken Tamplin uh, flew in for two weeks, did, a, did record the vocals for this album, and had to rearrange, uh, rearrange some arrangements because of um, um, uh, Rob Rock's vocal style. So that's pretty much the backstory of this. So therefore, what you have here is the same nine songs that does any Lone and lead vocals are the same songs, nine songs from this album that Rob Rock does the vocals. So it's great to have both of these in, in, in my collection because I can see, 
I haven't got a chance to go through this yet, but I guess I can see the slight differences in how the sound is recorded to, to suit uh, both vocal styles. There you have it. Also, we have a second album that was re recently redone by Gerda Music. Oh, by the way, these are redone and remastered by Gerda Music, by the way. That's why I'm showing these. And the second album that was redone is Angelica Walking in Faith, another great album. Now, by that time, um, um, Dennis Cameron does the guitars, of course, and Robert Pollen does bass. Uh, actually, Robert Pollen is another fellow Canadian as well. So, and a different lead singer on this one. Jerome Mazda is a different lead singer on this one. So, Walking Faith, another great album. I also obtained two uh, pieces of vinyl that are somewhat rare and um, uh, shown, I don't think I've shown, one of these albums I've, been, uh, I've seen shown a few times from different people, like Ron Haggerty, uh, but the other album I don't think I've ever seen seen in Vinyl Community, so I'll show the album I've seen before by other people. So what you have here is one of my favorite bands, St. Times In. I bought this from uh, Greg Hayes of Greta Music. And this is the original pure metal, the pure metal release with all the inserts, with the insert inside uh, for the lyric sheet and the order forms under one insert. So here you have it. Now you might see here a little bit of ring wear across the top there, which is not too bad. Now I want to tell you something else too. I played this vinyl. Uh, the vinyl's in pristine shape. I played this vinyl on my record player yesterday or uh, yesterday morning, and um, it's in pristine condition. Usually I expect to hear pops and. And it pops and crackles in the vinyl. It plays like a pristine uh, vinyl, as if it was just taken out of, out of, out of, out of as if it was bought yesterday, as if this came, a vinyl came out recently. It's a clean, clean uh, sound to the music. And I was, I was impressed uh, by the uh, by the sound I heard. I mean, the vinyl is sort of like you know, and see, is we're we're around the edges a bit here, but the vinyl inside is, is clean and, and crisp. It's almost like it was just bought yesterday. It was it was, it was just made yesterday. So this is Saint Album Times In. This is her second album that came out back in '86, um, and uh, which the one that came out before this one was called Words of the Sun, back in '84, which is six nine EP, and one came out after this one was called Too Late for Living, uh, back in '88. And then Saint took a hiatus for for about ten years, and got back together back in the early '90s and put out the Perfect Life EP. And, it, uh, and then he regrouped again back in 2000, early 2000, put out uh, In the Battle back in 2004. So if anybody out there know who, where I can get a copy of Where's the Sun on vinyl or Too Late for Living, let me know because uh, maybe we can work out a trade or a deal or something like that. And I want a clean, pristine uh, vinyl of, uh, uh, version of these two uh, vinyls. So let me know if you, you know where I can get one of these, uh, two, uh, one of each of these uh, vinyl I can get. So I got so as I, I showed in the previous video, I got this one. I also got in the battle, which I got the bot from uh, from Rocks Productions as well. They're a while back. They showed in the previous video, so I'm very glad to have this in my collection. Another one I'm going to show you is oh, I forgot to show you too. Um, along with the Angelica package, I got the Angelica uh, Walking of Faith pin or logo right here. It's pretty cool. Also, I'm going to be getting in the mail. A signed postcard from Dennis Cameron as well. That's on the way in the mail too. When I get that, I'll show it to you. Uh, Dennis Cameron from Jellica. So next one I'm going to show you is from the band White Cross. Another uh, rare piece of uh, music history from this band. Here is the vinyl of Love on the Line from White Cross. And Love on the Line was the EP that put out after the debut album. We saw two songs from the debut album. Uh, no Way I'm Going Down and Enough is Enough. And also show two unreleased songs. Uh, Love on the Line and I Believe. Uh, so it's a four song EP. So there you have it, folks. This is this is White Cross, uh, Love on the Line. And um, there you have it there. Here's the back part of the thing. And the original pure metal pressing. The same one I just showed you is also uh, an original pure metal pressing that you can see here. So these are original pure metal pressings. And um, as you may know, uh, White Cross, my favorite pe period of White Cross was their 80s era, era from. 87 to 89, they put out three great albums. Uh, their self titled Hammer Nail and Trumpet Return. And uh, this is a Love of Long EP, which was a sandwich in between uh, their debut and uh, Hammer and Nail. So there you have it. So um, uh, they've put out all their albums since that. They put out uh, In the Kingdom and uh, Hot Gear. These are good albums too. Uh, and they put out some other albums after that, that point in time, which after Rex Carr left the band. I don't like those albums as much, but I do have my collection. 
Uh, but like I said, my favorite period of White Cross is their 80s, 80s version from, from, like I said, 87 to 90 in that period. Um, when I show, when I give you on my collections video uh, in the future, I'm going to do the W and S's. I'm going to be showing the complete collections, all the collections I have for these two bands, White Cross and Saint. So basically these are two of my favorite bands I'm showing here right now. So there you have it. I'm very pleased to have these in my collection. Um, if you, like I said before, if you guys know where I can find uh, Saint uh, Warriors of Sun or or Too Late for Living, I love the album Too Late for Living. Not, another one of my favorite uh, Saint albums, and one of my favorite albums overall. overall. Let me know, hit hit me up there, and uh, or you can uh, reach it to me on Facebook up underneath name Michael Cruz C R E W E. Anyway, folks, there you have it. That's my vinyl haul and CD haul from Gutter Music. And uh, make sure you check into, um, as I said before, I'm always promoting, I'm, I'm not getting any kind of um, benefit from this, but if you guys ever want to check out some good quality Christian rock and hard rock, uh, check out Girder Music, 777 Music, um, Boone's Overstock, Rocks Productions, or Brent's Christian Rock and Metal. I also want to mention the fact, too, those of you who are into a rat, rat and Van Halen, uh, check out White Cross, or similar style music. Those of you who like the traditional classic uh, heavy metal, like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Saxon, check out uh, Saint. That's what they're similar to. So those of you who want to check out that band, um, sort of similar style in the style of music there. Uh, like I said, uh, Saint sort of that classic metal or, or power metal type of vibe, and White Cross has got that uh, uh, you know guitar shredding uh, 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 commercial metal vibe to the music, uh, with a hint, of, a hint of blues mixed into it as well. So. Alright guys, that's all I have for now, and I'll keep this video short, uh, and, um, I, I, and it's been a long time since the last video, so I, I, I guess I'll try to get uh, more videos out, out here to you uh, in the coming days or hours. Okay, all the best. Bye now.